like frown on your dad punks. Still hurt when the plaques come. Get with a verse when I rap on. Put you on a shirt up in packs on. Never did it for the money, only passion. Laughed at my fashion. Been the innovator, so I passed them. All the people haters and they passed them. Stars wall when you're George Lucas. Laser beam when I storm true. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. A magnificent sunset in Milwaukee. What a beautiful Midwest city. Hi everybody, time to get into it. NBA action on 2K Sports. With Grant Hill and Chris Weber, I'm Brian Anderson. Allie LaForce will be joining us as well. Allie, take it away. Hey, Brian, you could say the alley-oop is perhaps the game's most exciting play. Ricky Rubio said that 80% of the credit should go to the finisher. LeBron James said, quote, the worst passes often lead to the best finishes. And Lonzo Ball said, when you have someone you trust to catch it, you can pretty much throw it wherever. Oh, well, yeah, he's had some good ones, Allie. Thanks. Here are the five for the Lakers. The big three for this team all out there. Westbrook, the point. LeBron and AD sliding in at the forward spots. Malik Monk is out there with Marcus Gasol. And for the Bucks, Giannis plays the four with Lopez in the middle. DiVincenzo and Middleton make up the perimeter. And it's Holiday in at point guard. Hey, no shortage of experience on either side tonight. Chris, coming into the league, what were some of the lessons you learned from the vets you played with? I mean, there's so many lessons uh, my vets uh, taught me, but I, I think one of the biggest is that it's a marathon. And when it's a marathon, you got to keep your emotions in check, uh, stay steady, uh, not let a win get you two up, or the loss get you two down. Two down. Keep those blinders on. The defense probably had a plan for Westbrook's drive, but he's so dynamic. I mean, it all falls apart. Holiday, rebounded by the Lakers. Well, we talk about the value of great rim protection. That's a shot he typically makes. The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line, a chance at a three-point play. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Yeah, very little resistance. He had to bring much faster help than that. Shooting one. Free throw, no good. You know, there have been a lot of brother acts in NBA history. I mean, think about it. The Saw brothers, I mean, Mark and his older brother, Powell, I mean, they have to be among uh, the best combos ever. <laughs> Once he breaks out the crossover, you just know something special is about to happen. And Chris Middleton, a great three-point shooter. But he's got a deadly mid-range game as well, Grant. Middleton is just flat out a shooter. Can pull up from anywhere on the floor. If you give him the mid-range, he'll take it and punish him. Way to showcase the court vision. Russell Westbrook. I mean, he gets his teammates some wide open looks. And just over a minute played here to start the game. Holiday against Westbrook. 11 feet out. That one off the back iron and out. The Lakers have gone three of three out of the gate. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. Heads up defense by Giannis. His ability to anticipate the shot pays off with the block. Impressive how in sync Giannis is with his squad, enabling them to set up a flashy alley-oop. Now here's Gasol. Here's James. Lays it up and banks it in. A really smart opening quarter for them at the offensive end. Moving, finding good shots. They're four for five from the field. Here's Anadokounmpo. Excellent D there from Davis. That's their plan to get him an opportunity to finish in tight. That's a miss they can live with. James passes to Davis. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. <laughs> An outstanding first quarter from the field. The Bucks have gone two for five to start today's game. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Outside, DiVincenzo. Middleton with it. 133 left now in the first quarter. Five on the clock. And it's Anadokounmpo with the miss. It's not easy to keep him from converting those. I mean, the D has to be airtight. 
On to Kumpo against Westbrook. Back to Monk. Now, here is James. High post Davis. Westbrook can't hit. The Bucks trail. And here they come. Nice shot by DiVincenzo. And the Lakers with possession here. Pass to Gasol. Now Davis. Westbrook outside. Shot clock at six. Ana Kumpo grabs the board. Westbrook's gone one for three from the field here. Here's Holiday. That shot, no good. So the Lakers will take it the other way. Westbrook, the pass to Davis. Kicks it out to Westbrook. Down low. Ooh, he's looking comfortable now. Three for three. Nice move by Gasol against the tight D. Showing his power. Outside Holiday. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Shoots over Davis. Excellent D there from Davis. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. And it's mostly due to their superb shooting. They've wasted very few possessions. We'll be back in a moment. And the Greek freak says he's feeling comfortable offensively. See the goal right now. Uh, really well. We run plays over and over again. Our offense is not complicated. I know what I got to fight for. I know as a team what we're looking for. So right now I can see a lot of plays. Ever seen a big man like Giannis who dominates with the dribble drive? I, I'm not sure I've ever seen that. I mean, well, Zion four inches shorter, but he might be the only other one in that category. Hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Half oh, this this. This. Oh. oh, beyond belief. I mean, such a creative talent. And I'm not surprised to see Giannis get flashy on the finish. Once again, an explosive highlight on the AT&T 5G slam can. All right, let's get a report from Ali. Drew Holiday signed a four-year, $134 million extension to remain in Milwaukee. His coach, Mike Budenholzer, said, you can't appreciate the strength and the physicality he brings until you see it night in and night out. What he does defensively, once you're around it, it's even more impressive. Guys? All right, good stuff there, Ali. And a huge sigh of relief for Bucks fans last year. Giannis signing a monster contract extension. He'll continue to be the franchise for years to come. Pass to Connaughton. Launches it. And they get it back. Let's the three fly. That one is off. Now the Lakers take it the other way. After the outside. Back to Ariza. Here's Howard. Here's Ariza. Outside. Rondo. Tries again. And it comes off the front of the rim. And you know, Grant, many wondered if Giannis would test free agency. Ultimately, a oh, oh, Authority and a finish. B.A., I'm not sure he should be flaunting around the rim like that with this game so close. Oh, it's risky, but it sure did look good. Here's Bazemore, Allen defending. And the bucket is good. You know, a natural score. When an athlete gets the ball in spots he likes, he knows how to capitalize. Outside, Hill. It's tipped. Here's Bazemore. Allen defending. Pass to Howard. From the arc. And the officials call goaltending. So they'll award the basket. Yeah, it was just a little late. I mean, he finally got there, but the ref saw it otherwise. Chris Middleton's checked in for the Bucks. 
The Lakers also with a sub. Nuns checked in for Ariza. Milwaukee has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Now Portis, guarded by Howard. Goes back up. And Portis with the layup. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. The Lakers in the lead. Right side, Rondo. Here's Howard. The kick out to none. Let's go with a three. Milwaukee with the rebound. Pass to Rondo. Second shot opportunity. And it's good on the lay-in. The contact isn't enough to slow Rondo's drive. I mean, he commits to the play and goes all the way. Here's Hill. And he's in the books. Now one for two. They didn't do themselves any favors with their shooting in the first quarter. But they're starting to pick it up now. Now here's Rondo. Checked by Hill. To the middle. Anthony. Stymied by Middleton. And even though Middleton doesn't pile up blocks, he has the link to disrupt shooters. And he did right there. Shot and game clock separated by five. It's good. Now just a two-point Los Angeles lead. They're punishing those late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the half. Inside. The kick out to none. Pass to Rondo. Here's Bazemore. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. The Lakers on top. They... Thanks. I'm here with head coach Mike Budenholzer. Coach, how would you characterize the intensity level in that first half? Yeah, no, it's pretty intense. You know, both teams are getting after it defensively. Nothing's going to be easy, so it's the way it's supposed to be. Hopefully it continues in the second half. Thanks. Thanks very much, Allie. We'll be back soon to start the second half of basketball. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Let's talk about that first half. It's the Lakers out on top at halftime. They have a two-point lead. Kenny, what's your viewpoint? I like what they've done on the glass. Boxing out, reacting quickly, playing with an aggressive attitude. They set a physical tone, but now everyone gets a chance to recalibrate. We'll see if this rebounding dominance can extend into the second half. And Shaq, what do you think about Milwaukee? They were strong in transition. Seemed like the guys fed off the higher tempo. Certainly, they definitely got the looks they wanted playing an outstanding game. They can keep it up in the second half. They may wear the other side out. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side, my brother. fairly even first couple of quarters. This second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. How about Marcus Gasol? What a contribution he's making. And in the first half, he dominated in the post. He got the looks he wanted and was able to execute. Bringing the physicality. I mean, they kept working it to him and he kept delivering. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. The foundation of this team, Middleton and Giannis, the three and the four. Holiday and DiVincenzo man the backcourt. And it's Lopez in at the five, roaming the paint. And that's the group from Mike Budenholzer as we begin the second half. Oh, Giannis dunks it home. They really picked up the energy level and have willed themselves back into this game. That's true, but we'll see if they can keep forging ahead for now. we got to give them credit for coming back. Well, you can't ever feel safe with Holiday on the floor. Grant, he is one of the great ball hawks in the NBA. Yeah, he reads plays very well. He has a good wingspan to swipe away errant passes. One of the many reasons Holiday is such a great defender. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards, LeBron fighting James. hard for every miss. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. This Bucks team is arguably the most talented in franchise history. At the same time, the East has gotten tougher, so the Bucks are looking to improvise. 
Giannis said, quote, we're getting better, trying new things, changing our schemes. That's something we think is going to help us. Brian? Using the regular season to experiment out. Interesting. Thank you. This is what Westbrook does as well as anyone. Attack, attack, attack the rim off the box. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. And C. Webb is a superstar big man who can play power forward or center. It's interesting to compare the talents of Anthony Davis with a great like Tim Duncan. That's tough for both of them. Elite two-way talents, and both of them will go down as all-time greats. Pass to Lopez. Back to Anadokounmpo. Now Holiday. Clock at six. Out to DiVincenzo. From the high post. And the Bucks miss again. Only one for five to start the half. I mean, whatever adjustments they made at halftime weren't the right ones. Rock solid start for them. I mean, they're three for three since coming out of the locker room. Oh, stolen by Gasol. To the inside. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt. To the paint. Anadokounmpo. That's good. Anadokounmpo's gotten four this quarter. Using his size to his advantage, Giannis is a handful to deal with close to the rim. To the inside. Here's Gasol. That's good. And so Westbrook with the assist. And the Lakers lead by six. Anadokounmpo outside. The shot that time not on target. And Los Angeles the other way now. Here's James. No good with a layup. The Bucs have gotten only two of seven shots to go in the third quarter. Here's Anadokounmpo. That's good. And now he's five for 11 in this one. And the balance Giannis has. Outstanding job taking the contact and finishing the spider. The Lakers call timeout. And the Bucks making a change here. Portis has checked in. Anthony's checked in for the Lakers. None comes in for Monk. None. The pass to James. 59 seconds left in the third quarter. James is superb at scoring the ball, especially when he gets a pick, giving him all the room he needs. Now here's Middleton. It's stolen by James. Three on three. None with it. Guarded now by Holiday. Westbrook outside. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Connaughton, he's checked in for Chris Middleton. Coming down to the floor for And now James. Give him eight points now. Left side, Davis. And Davis slams it home. Something that James has really mastered. He has a tremendous feel for when to pass in the screen to roll. Now they get Holiday. Pass to Portis. Ooh, stolen by Westbrook. Fast break. Here come the Lakers. The shot by James. No good. It would have been a sensational alley you finished. <laughs> Tough to nail the timing of that long pass. It'll count. No luck on that one. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers finishing the quarter with an eight-point lead. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team. Back to the game after this break. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And from the two-guard spot, an unselfish play like this sets a fantastic tone. Oh, yeah, no need for hero ball there. I mean, you just need to make the right basketball play. Outstanding dish that time. With three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store. And so in the game for the Lakers, LeBron James out there with Carmelo Anthony. 
Then there's Russell Westbrook. Then it's Anthony Davis. And it's none in at the point guard position. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. And let's take a moment to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for the Lakers. One shot. I love how they've attacked the basket in this game. They've taken a very aggressive approach. Another thing that jumps out to me is the big number of assists that they made over the course of this game. Yeah, a living legend. LeBron James, more all NBA selections than any player in history, and he's still going to score. Here's Portis. And that one off the back of the rim and in. No one there to contest. Didn't really need the fade. Westbrook against Steven Tenzo. Shoots over Allen. It's hauled in by Portis. And LeBron in his mid-30s. He's not slowing down. Chris, it seems like he's getting better. Just think about it. scoring, rebounding, and assisting at career-high rates. We know Father Time is undefeated, but LeBron's probably going with Father Time for the longest round. Big rebound on a night where they haven't exactly controlled the glass. He was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That's his first personal foul. It goes on Russell Westbrook. That one's off. And some changes here for the Bucks. Anacumpo's checked in for Portis. And Chris Middleton is subbed in for Allen. Gasol's checked in for the Lakers. Monk comes in for none. Anacumpo against Davis. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. That's his first personal foul. One of the only ways Second to slow down Antetokounmpo is to get physical with him. But you know what? That may not work. He is so good at absorbing contact in the paint. And he's good on the second. An MVP caliber talent. The rise of Giannis from scrawny teenager to bulked up superstar has been great to watch. To the middle. Kicks it out to Westbrook. James double teamed. Pass to Gasol. Rebounded by the Bucks. Here's Ana de Kumpo. Takes a 13-footer. Six to shoot. Holiday from long range. And they recover it. Another shot. And Middleton with a nice bucket inside. His offensive skill set is off the charts. He has more than a few ways to punch. 11 feet out. Westbrook outside. Inside. Oh, it's blocked by Lopez. Having to be careful around Lopez. He's solid in time and then the leap up to block shot. And Russell Westbrook gets the whistle that time. Russell Westbrook. That's foul number two for him. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. Oh, my, oh, my. And that was textbook defense. Positioning himself well to send it back. On to Kumpo. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Here's James, using his post moves to get the two points. James has got 11 points here in the second half. Timeout called, Milwaukee. They're behind by eight. 125 left in the final quarter. Let's take a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Russell Westbrook. Yeah, really the standout element of this game tonight was his offense and his ability to get inside by cutting the defense to shreds, finding lanes, even making them, and relentlessly attacking the hoop. God, this guy loves playing the role of the villain. It's what motivates him to play well on the road, I think. And he did just that tonight, channeling that energy in a positive way, getting a huge victory away from home. I was able to listen in on what Mike Budenholzer was going over with his team. He told his men in the huddle, this is it, leave it all out on the floor. Final stretch coming. No easy buckets. I want a full effort out there. Looking to keep his team fired up. Guys. Okay, thanks, Allie. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. 
Well, this is what guys play for. And when it pans out like this, this is a great fit. Fifty seconds left in the fourth quarter here. It's good. Well, Grant, this game looks just about over. B.A., all they really need to do is just work that clock, don't turn it over, and this game is a wrap. Anthony Davis. Davis. They really came in with the right mindset today. I can guarantee you their flight home will be filled with some smiles. Yeah, there's no doubt as to who was the better team. I mean, they, they proved it with this way. Again with the block. A defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Protecting the rim well. Love the hustle. And then seven foot one, Casal sees over the defense with ease. I mean, fantastic spot in the open man. Holiday from long range. Drills it from deep. Oh, the timing couldn't have been better on that assist. Here's James. That one doesn't drop. And so it's the Lakers with the W. It ends up being a fairly easy road win. Those are so hard to come by. It's never easy to take a game in someone else's building. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Anthony, the chemistry between you and LeBron, how much of that is your skill set versus your connection as teammates? Um, we both respect each other. You know, what we both can do on the floor on both ends. And when we get out and run and we run into our pick and roll, um, it's hard to guard. You know, he's able to shoot the ball if they go under. Um, he's a monster attacking the basket. You know, I'm rolling or popping and kind of mix up the uh, defense scheme. And anytime we're able to, to get into that action, it's unguardable. It's unguardable, a combo anyone would love to have. Thanks, AD. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Chris Webber, Grant Hill, and Ali LaForce, I'm Brian Anderson thanking you for watching tonight's game on 2K Sports. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening. Turn back blocks into black ops. Stunting turn into half knots. Yeah. If you get man, it's an hour before Matt locking them show up. If you rent late, then they padlocking your door up. Come My come up was ugly. Store trips, colorful money. Hugging the tummy. Nothing was that Brooklyn borough is thorough. Over bangles, they throw like burrow and like you burrow. Then you block again just to make all that plural. I can't believe I made it. Like that's supposed to be sterile. But here I am, and my words are certainly fertile. A twist of the wrist, your favorite artist turns into a mural. Y'all wearing dresses and purses, stressing them Birkins, fam. I put a in that gown, popping circumstance. Mm, I can tell you ain't from Brown now. Tell your favorite rapper that I want my son. And now, let's hear it for your team. A six-time NBA champ, the Bay Golden State Warriors. In the middle, at seven feet. Number 33, James Wiseman. At forward, six foot six, number 23, Drake Von Green. At forward, six seven, number 22, Andrew. Guard, 6 6, number 11, Clay Thompson. At guard, 6 3, number 30, Stephen Curry. At 
Welcome to 2K Sports for another edition of NBA Basketball. This is Kevin Harlan with Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Greg Anthony giving us the rundown from the sideline courtside, David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Mikkel Bridges is a big part of the Suns' growth into a powerhouse. Coach Monty Williams said of his two-way swing man, I believe he has every intangible talent and quality to be a glue guy in that starting lineup. Mikkel has an edge to him. Guys respect the heck out of him because he competes every day. Kevin, I compete every time you throw it down to me. <laughs> you do. And you're a great competitor. DA, it is an honor to be on this broadcast with you each and every game. And certainly Bridges one to watch. DA, thanks. And now the opening lineup for Phoenix. Hop it forward. They'll have Bridges and Crowder. A star backcourt of Paul and Booker are out there. And it's eight in and at the five spot. And for Golden State. And the old core of this team out there, Curry and Clay, is guards with Draymond at four. James Wiseman's out there with Wiggins. Greg, both teams love to push the ball up the floor, even off of made shots. And trying to get those easy ones before the defense can get set is always an advantage, and you're seeing more and more teams trying to speed up their pace of play. Boy, that's one he wishes he could have back, especially against soft defense. against Paul. Here's Weissman. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's his first personal foul. And the physical first tools team of Weissman. Very hard to deal with his first and strength. And as you think about it, guys, he could start bullying people in the post once he starts to grow that aspect. Not many seven-footers have that frame and that speed. It's really about learning the game and making the most out of your skill set. And that one's good, Aiton. Well, you have to love DeAndre Aiton's effort, intensity, and relentlessness as a rebounder. Here's Curry. The shot comes out. Now the Suns take it the other way. About one minute into the first quarter. And there's a whistle. Foul goes on Mikel Bridges. That is his first foul of the game. That's his yeah, first really personal good defensive foul. play to cut him off there Team and square up. And here are the Warriors now. Here's Curry. Count that one. Well, Stephen Curry in the painted area has touch, can finish with either hand. This guy is just so complete. Here's Booker. They grab their own miss. Crowder finds Paul. From the arc. And Curry pulls it down. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can count on him to continue missing. And finished up by Weisman. And just Brown, caught the D there by surprise. Love that Wiseman goes for the big end on the alley -oop. Now here's Crowder. To the paint. Kicks it out to Paul. Bridges inside the three-point line. Ayton trying to get open as Crowder. And it's Ayton missing. The Warriors have gone two or three here to start off the game. And Wiggins gets it to go on the assist from Green. Well, how about the aggressiveness of Andrew Wiggins? So good at fighting through the contact, taking the challenge of the defense. That's beautiful. The shot's good from Paul. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. Well, he's attacking, he's forcing the issue, and that simply stated a terrific play. That's already this guy's second foul now. He's either going to have to sit or play a bit more conservatively. Kevon Looney is checked in for Golden State. Bialica comes in for Green. And for the Suns, Sharch has checked in for DeAndre. Johnson comes in for Bridges. And it's Payne in for Paul. And so it's Crowder with it. He'll bring it up for the Suns. It's a three-point game. Kicks it out to Johnson. Booker fires from way outside. That one falls. Coming off the Johnson feet. Well, just tremendous range already. What a floor spacer Booker is at such a tender young age. Sunshine. Cameron Payne. That's his first Something we've foul. seen the last few Curry, years. Boxing ones thrown at, at Curry, the although they've had mixed Stephen success. Curry. And that one misses. 
Pinky. And amazing to even Shots. consider using a box in one in the NBA, isn't it, Greg? But Curry does that with his offense to the teams that defend him. Kevin, I, I agree. And it, it did work well in the 2019 finals. Curry has started to adjust to that look. Much harder to use when Curry has other options on offense. Now, here's Bielitz. And there's a whistle. Landry that goes Shaman. on Landry Shaman. That's his first personal That's foul. his first foul of the He's game. Forward. And the bonus will go to the free throw line. At the line this the is his first free throw of the game. Yet. Looking back to last season, he was at about 73%. Suns trail by three. 44 seconds left to play in the first. Payne passes to Sharich. Now the Warriors pick it up. Here's Moody. Up and in on the way. Well, that's why they're in front. An aggressive play at both ends. Nicely done. Now here's Payne, guarded by Kirk. Sharich. And slam dunk by Sharich. Wow, Dario Saric gets himself perfectly positioned, and that's an easy dunk. Outside Curry. Let's the three fly. Good on the three-point shot. Curry's got six points. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. They know that if this guy goes off, their chances of winning rise exponentially. Outstanding entry pass there. He knew exactly where to go with the ball. And we reached the end of the first quarter. Warriors ahead. They're up by four. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from San Francisco. Regarded as one of the best leaders in the game today, Chris Paul opening about how his team works together. With anything, uh, whether it's business, work, relationships, whatever, it's communication. And I think that's something that we're doing an amazing job of right now. And that's communicating, talking through things, and making sure, even when it gets tough, that we continue to communicate. Younger team, it's got to be easier for Chris Paul to lead as that elder statesman. Yeah, at times in the past, veteran teammates didn't appreciate his constant input. Credit these younger guys, though, for soaking it in. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far, halfway through the first half in this one. And the Warriors, guys, what jumps out to you in this game, uh, stats wise? I impressive start. They came in with a well-conceived game plan and have executed. What terrific work at the offensive end. They have built some early momentum here. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. Setting the floor for the Warriors. Moody is out there with Stephen Curry. Then it's Kaminga, and there's Iguodala. And it's Looney in at the five, home in the paint. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the three-point shot of Mikel Bridges seemed to abandon him early in his NBA career. Coach Monty Williams said he developed a hitch in his release. But Bridges got in the lab with the coaching staff, changing his shot midway through season two. And the results speak for themselves. Guys? He had a career year shooting, that's for sure. I admire his work ethic. D.A., thank you. Looking at who's out there now for the Warriors. Heisman comes in for Kevon Looney. And it's Draymond Green and for Andre Iguodala. And Cam Johnson, a surprise pick, Doris, when he was taken 11 back in 2019. Many wondered, I recall, what the Sun saw. Now, that's not the case. Well, that's exactly right, because most projections had him as a late first-round pick. The Suns' front office give them credit. They saw the upside of Cameron Johnson. Boy, he is now viewed as one of the steals of that draft. That's pure strength from Draymond Green. When he gets hit, he still finds a way to score it. Wiggins is checked in for Golden State. Amazing to think some question if Curry could lead on his own, isn't it, Doris? He has answered the critics quickly. Oh, one 62-point outburst showed how dominant he is. 
after missing almost all of 2020, some began to doubt Mr. Curry. I don't think anyone is going to make that mistake again. Now, here's Wiggins following the shot by Chris Paul. And that one, good. Wiggins has got the lead up to 10 now for the Warriors. Well, you think the body up to Wiggins will throw him off. It doesn't help at all. Thompson against Booker. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. Well, use the pick and going right to the cup. I love the aggressiveness. And Chris Paul picks up the foul. That's his third foul of the game. Third foul of the half, and that's the risk you take, leaving him out there. Second team foul. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. From 10 feet out, and it's off the back rim. No good. Suns trail by eight. Inside, and eight throws it down. There's a level of floor awareness that has always been an eight to Chris Paul. What a pretty find. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for the Golden State Warriors. At the elbow, it's Thompson. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Yeah, there's no quitting this guy. He just gives you great effort, and he continues to give you great production. Booker draws the double to the middle. Johnson gets to Aiton. Near the three-point line, it's Booker. A shot that time, not on target. So Golden State will take it the other way. Here's Curry. Out to Thompson. Passes it to Wiseman. Back to Wiggins. Clock is at three. Goes back up, and he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Andrew Wiggins is a talented prospect. On the offensive end, he is as scary as it gets. Some changes for Golden State. Biel Itza comes in for Trayvon Green. And it's Igudala in for Curry. And the Suns also making a change. Sharks checked in for Johnson. Now here's Paul. Vision out to Sharks. Back to Paul. Suns moving the ball around. Hooker inside. He's covered by Wiseman. Stolen by Thompson. No one near Iguodala as he lets it go from outside off the mark. Six second difference between the shot and game clock. To the inside. Sharks lays it up and Darius brings it in. Sharks. What a savvy pass by Devin Booker, making the smart choice, moving the basketball. Iguodala against Bridges. Iguodala dishes to Thompson. Wiggins inside the line. And the Warriors miss again. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Let's talk about that first half. Golden State found themselves in a close game in the first. And in one stretch there, they were up by six. They ended the second with a solid nine-point lead. A nice show of force by them. Hey, big fella, what's your take on Golden State so far? They're running some great offense right now, working the ball in a good spot, seeing what the defense gives them, not forcing up shots. We'll see if they can maintain that discipline in the second half. And Kenny, what are your thoughts on Phoenix? The free throw margin is very telling. One team is playing aggressively, getting to the line, and the other one just is. You have to be willing to play through the contact in this one. And that's a wrap for our halftime show, the third quarter, just about to get started. And we've got third quarter of basketball for you, two quarters in the books. Curry has been sensational. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters, he has been terrific. And one would expect that the defense made some adjustments at halftime, but he has the ability to answer right back. Getting underway in the second half, here's 
the five for Monty Williams. Aiton is the pivot, and Crowder slides in at the four. The star backcourt of Paul and Booker are out there, and it's Bridges in at the three spot. Curry way outside, and another three for Golden State. And down the road, great, which current player might make for the best coach. Well, I'm always partial to the point guard. And if you're looking for leadership, man, Chris Paul, Mike Conley, those guys I think are destined to coach. I think LeBron would be a great leader as well. But you might have a sneaky suspicion he just grabbed her whole team. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. And at this point, it is their game to lose. They've done such a good job building the lead. Making the most of the screen. That's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot, Greg. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Where was the defense? No fighting through the pick. No rotation. My goodness. Ball against Curry. The feed to Wiseman. Six on the shot clock. Thompson outside from deep. Curry can't get it to go. They tried to stay perfect in the half, but three for four now. And with eight in one area of his game that's always been elite, Doris, his work and rebound. Yeah, there's no question. As good as advertised, he is a double double machine. And think about it, he is not even at his prime yet. But Curry's ability to find an open teammate and put the ball exactly where it needs to be. Such a pretty pass. And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. DeAndre Ayton, the first pick of the 2018 draft. He was obviously the consensus number one at the time. So hard to pass on a center like him who's got size, athleticism, and an elite vertical threat at the cup. Looking at who's out there now for the Warriors. Looney's checked in for Wiseman. Kaminga comes in for Andrew Wiggins. Booty subbed in for Thompson. And that was a loaded 2018 draft class. Not just eight, but Doncic and Trey Young as well. Yeah, there were some question marks early in his career about whether that was the right selection. But boy, Aiton has been a tremendous fit for them. This guy's upside is still so high. The Suns making a switch here. Booker's checked in. Kaminga the pass to Kerr. Takes the three. The rebound by Johnson. The Suns trail by 12. The drive by Booker. It's good. Devin Booker. Booker's got four points this quarter. Boy, he's been cooking, but the teammates, he's just not getting a lot of support from them. Here's Curry with the three. That one falls through. It's his sixth make from the four this game. Now six for ten. They're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. One-on-one -on -one here. Green with the ball. Now guarded by Booker. And there's the bucket from Kaminga. You know you can count on Draymond Green to make good decisions. This guy comes up with a lot of terrific assists. Here's Booker with the drive. That's another one for him, his fifth in just seven shots. Well, the problem is they haven't gotten production from any other spot, but right now this guy is cooking. Pass to Green. Now, here's Moody. Pass to Kaminga. Here's Looney. It's hauled in by the Suns. Listen, offensively, they're very comfortable with him taking that shot. It's a good look under very little pressure. He just can't convert. Warriors leading by 13. Curry deciding where to go with it. He can't get that one. Here's Booker. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Booker's got 13 points. Boy, just tremendous focus from Devin Booker on the interior. It matters not if he's facing size. Look out. And so it's the Golden State Warriors.
holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. We're shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. So with Curry sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. Thompson and Iguodala make up the perimeter. James Wiseman's out there with Nemanja Bialica. And it's Wiggins in at the point. And no doubt they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does great. It's stolen by Sharks. Booker with no one around. They get the rebound. That one's in there. The Warrior lead is cut down now to just seven on the bucket from Sharich. That's what you call getting to the right spot at the right time. Tremendous awareness from Dario Sharich. A second chance effort in deep. Bielica drops it in. You simply must put a body on this guy. You know he's going to try to get to that glass. Here's Crowder. Good. A nice assist from Booker. Assisted by Booker's got five Booker. assists tonight. But Crowder is not afraid to play bully basketball. This is a guy who will battle through contact. And here's Wiggins. Thompson outside. This one for three. It's not going to go for him. Now the Suns take it the other way. Paul kicks to Booker. And the three off target. Well, he's got a great throw. That one almost dropped. Here's Thompson. And that one off the back of the rim. And in. Thompson. And the Warriors lead by nine. A uh, shooter of Thompson's caliber has little trouble in the mid-range. And the Suns call time. And the Warriors <laughs> making a change here. Curry's checked in. And then for Phoenix, Aiton comes in for Sharich. And Cameron Payne subbed in for Devin Booker. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. During the last break, I heard Monty Williams talking with his team. He said, hey, we're still in this thing. We just have to trust each other out there. Be aggressive, stay together, and play as a team. We're coming back and winning this one. Pretty confident words, Kevin. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Curry against Paul. And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. Curry's got 19 points. Well, the pick and roll is a play that Curry loves to operate, and he's always asking and seeking opportunities in this kind of situation. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Warriors basketball. Guys, a good chance for them to slow it down. Yeah, they definitely should use some clock here. 139 left in the fourth quarter. Here the step back. Rebounded by DeAndre Ayton. Ayton's got seven rebounds in the game. Bridges. Wiggins with the block. Well, using every bit of that seven-foot wingspan, Wiggins airmailing it back. Outside curve. Wiggins outside. Over Bridges. That's tipped. And he's able to get it back. Four on the clock. Kicks it out to Wiggins over Paul. And it's Wiggins missing. Suns trailed by nine. Paul with the ball. Now defended by Wiggins. And Aiton throws it down. Aiton uses his length to his advantage. No doubt on the dunk. 56 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Thompson outside. Down low. Here's Weissman. And it's Aiton with the rebound. And it's the Suns with the ball. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. Bridges shot. Good. Fearless, confident competitor. Bridges with the delivery. Timeout called the Warriors. They're up by five. We've got 33 seconds left in the game. And now, let's present our New Balance player of the game, Chris Paul. And he's played this entire game on his front foot, Kevin. I mean, driving the lane, going to the rim with purpose, 
and getting those points Same the time. hard way. And the Warriors making a change here. Four person Green's foul. checked in. First team foul. And it's the Warriors with the ball. Sun's foul. 17 points was their biggest margin. That's his fifth personal foul. Good on the first, and that increases their lead to six. Well, Stephen Curry is wildly popular as an NBA player, and I think there's a few things. Number one, he's a dynamic scorer, fun to watch, and he plays with an infectious joy for the game. Shooting for Phoenix, Devin Booker taking two shots. First free throw is good, and that trims the lead to six. One of the most impressive things about Devin Booker has been his consistency. This guy is productive, and he is willing to carry the offensive burden. So they foul intentionally. That's his second personal foul. It's the first, and that increases their lead to six. And so both free throws are good. It's a seven-point game. Well, you like when a guy calmly steps up, knocks down the free throws, exactly what you want. It counts. Chris Paul. Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. That's a statement from Chris Paul. He understands game is in the balance. It's my time. And it's Thompson with the ball. He'll bring it up for Golden State. And so they choose to intentionally foul. He drops the first one, and that increases their lead to six. So he goes two for two at the line. And it's a seven-point game. Clay Thompson over the first eight years of his career, durable and always available. Then you have a couple of situations where season-ending injuries forced him to find his way back and he was showing all the grit and talent necessary. Substitution for your Warriors. There's 18 seconds left in the fourth. Lee with the steal. And Lee with the stuff. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play, then the impact stuff. Uh, let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. So we see the Warriors get the win here. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. All right, David, thank you. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Doris. Something crazy they won't interject. Do every the one they gon' let you. Dangerous when there's nobody to check you out behind the Grab my hand and just fly.